The following is a real documentation. My name is Dr. Alon Wolf. I'm the director of the Biorobotics and Biomechanics Lab here at the Technion in Israel, in Haifa. Um, I graduated this department and then I spent four years in Pittsburgh in Carnegie Mellon University as a researcher dealing with robotics. Uh, the scope of work of this lab is biomechanics and biorobotics as its name. And the idea is to combine studies of bio biomechanics of study of living creatures and trying to imitate them in bio-inspired robots. The use of 3D printing uh, gives a great advantage for us as researchers because uh, we can bring theory into practice. We need to take the design, we need to take and, and break it down to basic theories, fundamental theories, and then try to um, prototype, to do a proof of concept, validate those theories. And this, this technology gives us the opportunity to actually go very quickly from design theory into practice. This technology brings to the lab is the capability of designing something and executing it very fast, getting a working prototype where before we had to go through the process of of manufacturing in the real workshop, which takes a lot of time uh, and a lot of efforts. Here we can build, we can test, we can see where the failures are, uh, doing scale down of the experiments, and then go back to our drawing boards and our calculation and, and improve the design and, 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 and of course the theory that is actually standing behind this. Uh, today, the designer, the new age designer the, of the frontier is that doesn't have to think about this anymore. Just draw your parts as you think of it and you can print it. If you have enough uh, experience, then even with this technology, you can avoid these uh, uh, failure points and, and actually build parts that can be used in real working machines like we do. We build parts, we put in them motors, servo motors, you put electronics, you put batteries, everything worked together. We put bearings and things work together and actually work pretty well. We can test our robots, bio-inspired robots, our snake robots, as you, uh, we can test them, we can validate them. You know, in, in our department we have a wide range of uh, research, uh, different researchers doing different research in different various areas, and that is the uh, impose on us that we actually need uh, a wide range or spectrum of materials and, and capabilities. That is, we, we need to manufacture small parts in millimeters, and at the same time is also print or manufacture uh, parts which are large scales. And uh, when, when we looked for this technology, we actually found that object could supply us with this r wide range of spectrum of, of capabilities. Creating multi-material parts can give us a great advantage of um, combining or creating some kind of a third material, which has the which actually control the mechanical properties of this material. Uh, today, with robotics, often we use. Uh, joints which are off the shelves like bearings and uh, all those kind of, uh, of, of hinges and joints and if we can integrate into our structure in our solid structure a flexible material or non or even a rigid material where you need to get different mechanical properties then you can avoid using uh, third-party uh, parts that uh, this is usually where the, the uh, the failure points are to combine where, where you join the design with different materials this is where we, are, we usually see where the failure is so if we can print everything in one shot then uh, it would be a great advantage for us <laughs>